morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. As you know, I love inspiring stories, and I found one recently involving my first guest this morning, Sharif Vincent. Now, Sharif was on a typical fishing trip with his friend Marco when suddenly their trip took a horrific turn. Their boat capsized and sank five miles offshore the Florida Keys. Sharif's going to share this incredible story of courage and survival with us this morning. Sharif, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you here. You are, yeah. you are an, an, an inspiring young man, Sharif. Thank Have you been fishing all your life? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just haven't, you know, picked it up these last five, six, seven years, just really getting serious about it. So. Okay. And so you've never had a fishing trip, though, like the one you had this past January. No, nah, it was life-changing. It was definitely life-changing. Yeah. Can you kind of explain to me what happened during this fishing trip? All right. Well, Thursday, January 17th, me and my buddy Marco were spearfishing all day and having a good day. I'm like... We had we knew the storm was coming. We kind of like the old man next door was just like, "Why are you guys going out today?" And we're like, "Bro, it's crystal clear and fat calm. We're getting out there. We're gonna <laughs> kill it." So like, he was just like, "You guys are crazy." And like, I looked in the iPhone. It's about five or six o'clock. You know, it was gonna start picking up and getting crazy. So, what had happened was we were coming in. We're like. And I, and I told him, I was like, let me get this last picture. He shot a five pound. This mangrove was fat. And I was like, bro, that's a fatty mangrove. They're like, take a picture of that, son. I'm taking a picture. Take a picture, click, and all you see is sunset, and then you see black cloud all over Big Pine. I was like, yeah, it's time to go home, brother. So we're going in. All of a sudden, like, because when you get into, like, Hawk's Channel, the waves, they're, like, repetitive. It's like a wave after a wave after a wave, and it's like, Okay, so we're in this little 16-foot Mako with a 50 Johnson on it. We're coming in, and we're like, mm, and the bow would go up, smack. When the bow would smack, the waves would come in. And, like, before we knew it, like, maybe, like, 20 minutes into the trip, because Marco's, like, late. Now, this is, I'm talking about this boat has a freaking pair of pliers for a tiller. All right, okay, you got to gun it from the center console and then control it with the pliers from the tiller as a tiller. So he's laid back, feet kicked up, wetsuit on. I'm going to drink Capri Suns over there looking sick. I'm like, bro, let's just get home. <laughs> Call his mom, Spanish Harbor, and go home. First place to land. Didn't happen. Did, that did way. not have. By the time, maybe like 20 minutes into it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten big waves came in the boat, the boat just kind of like was sitting funny. And started running half the speed. Like, mm -hmm. so much water had gotten into the motor that it kind of just, it's a little two stroke, so it's basically running off of like one stroke now. It's mm -hmm. running half the speed. It's mm -hmm. just slowed down. I just, oh, I just remember like, just, just, Being scared. just not even scared. Just like, one second he's like, bro, there's a lot of water in the boat. And mm -hmm. the boat was like sitting crazy. And so I'm a big guy, and you're in a little boat, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to stay at the front. And then when I stayed at the front, I felt the water come to the front. When I felt my little feet get cold, I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then so, like, we ran, I ran to the back, ran to the front. Second time I did that, I was like, bro, take out the cell phone. We started dialing my buddy AJ Halley's number, mm -hmm. dialing it. As soon as he, like, pressed call, like, swear to God, as soon as he pressed call, there must have been at least a four to five foot wave. Flipped the boat over. Mm -hmm. Both of us in it now flipped us over. And like, it just, oh, I don't know. Uh, it brings back memories. Yeah, sure. because, you know, it's like when the boat flips over like that and like I had a big scar across my stomach, I just, I just, I didn't realize like, I was in pain. I was like, wow. Stayed calm though. I was just like, I'm not by myself. <laughs> I'm not by myself. Can't blame my mom. No. I was also chilling by myself. I was like, we're going to do this. So you guys decided to swim it then? Yeah, we sat there. Mm -hmm. He swam down because the boat, not a piece of foam in that thing. When it flipped, one up and just said, damn. And I was like, mm -hmm. uh-oh. That boat went under. I just remember I had a $1,500 Daryl Long spear gun, had my Rife Euros, 110 and a 90. 
then a cooler full of fish. I just remember watching that cooler just float away. And, just mm -hmm. and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Coder, oh man, Marco swam down. No mask, no nothing now. Swam down, somehow felt like the hatch where the life preservers were, mm -hmm. and grabbed us both the life preservers. Good, so. good for him. Yeah, and it was, then it was you guys were thing. able to have that, and you were in mm -hmm. this together then. Yeah, we sat, like before we even left, True story. We, we prayed. I mean, mm -hmm. prayed to God, and we just said, "Lord, just you know, we have a big, we have family, we have friends." And, and it was about five thirty-six o'clock now, so mm -hmm. we're swimming back. And let me tell you something. Now, these okay when you're in Hawks Channel and these waves are like after after wave after wave after wave. You're just like, this is stupid, man. The current's going out. I'm sitting there like, bro, halfway into it. I'm like, I'm ready to give up. This is just like. But you didn't. I know. I didn't give up. But, you know, if it wasn't for my buddy Marco saying Sharif, like, snap out of it. Mm -hmm. Because I gave up at one point. And this was before, like, anything. And the only reason why we got back to land is because the waves would lift you up so high that you'd be able to see, like, like the light post. I mean, the light from, like, those radio towers, whatever it is, mm -hmm. off of uh, Bay of Honda. The mm -hmm. big red tower, what looking thing. Seen that light flashing, so we're just like, mm -hmm. all right, swim in that mm -hmm. direction. And then, like, I just like about three hours into it, Marco's Marco's mom isn't stupid, she's a smart mm -hmm. woman. Mm -hmm. She's like, the kids aren't back. Shriek always answers his phone or has a Facebook post or something mm -hmm. crazy, mm -hmm. and none of that. So, she called Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. I remember out of watching Coast Guard come out of Spanish Harbor Bridge, seeing the chopper fly by. Mm -hmm didn't spot us and I was like bro we're gonna die dude don't live we're dead like I was like no bro just keep swimming keeps he just oh like if it wasn't for him I would have stopped like honestly honest to God like I would just stop and so about six hours into it off of uh camp make us make a suki or whatever mm -hmm. Mikasuki was sumpki was sumpki was sumpki make a know gamble and get that money well like was sumpki we had got there, and now you're talking about another like 300 yards of like jagged rock. So mm -hmm. we like hit the jagged rock and just we got to the first house we seen, called a guy. I mean, well, the guy we seen the guy we called Marco's mom, and then Marco's mm -hmm. mom just came and got us. Awesome, Sharif, I am uh, so happy that you're here to tell about yeah. this story, and it is. It's an inspiring story, Sharif. It really is. It's about not giving up either. So just don't give up and. Mm -hmm. The person you're with, just make sure he's like, when when a situation comes like that, make sure that they're not going to look out for themselves. They're going to mm -hmm. look out for you, too. He was looking out and for he was, you. You know, definitely. and pray to God, keep you trusting God, and just can't give up, man. You can't give up. If you give up, you're... That's right. You wouldn't be here then. Right. Sherry, thank you so much for being on this morning. <laughs> yeah. You can take me on a fishing trip, but let's have a safe one, oh, okay? Yeah, I got the tender, baby. 21-foot <laughs> tender. We riding. Man. All right. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick break, but there is much more to come this morning. Stay with me.